Hello, my name is Kevin from Agile NDT Reports. We build web-based NDT reporting systems for service providers. I'm going to quickly showcase some of the features of our core application today. It's worth noting here straight off the bat though that we um, build custom systems so we understand that every NDT company has different requirements regarding their reporting system. So we would never try to to, to build one product and, and make it fit companies. Um, instead we custom build each of our reporting systems so that our customers get um, nothing more and uh, nothing less than they, than they require. So this is our website agilendtreports.com it highlights some of the features that I'm going to talk about today and there's also some testimonials from some some of our users and at the bottom there's a there's a contact us form where you can get in touch with us but right back at the top there's a button to our online demo now anyone can can come and and view this and can can try out our software. So let's um, follow this button. So this is our demo application and one thing that you'll note is that I'm using a web browser to access it. So all our reporting systems are online. That means that you don't need any special software or hardware to access it. All you need is a reliable internet connection and a modern web browser such as Internet Explorer, Firefox or in this case Google Chrome. Now that means that you can create NDT reports anywhere. Um, so for example obviously in your office or if you're traveling to your clients or customers office um, maybe your your technicians are offshore maybe they're even at home um, possibly also traveling you know if you have a an iPad or, or a similar mobile device that, that can operate while on the move um, this really opens it up um, to be able to create NDT reports, you know, basically wherever you are, wherever you can get an internet connection. So let's log in to the demo application. Now we've provided the credentials here. You can just copy and paste them in. Obviously, this would be the login page for your technicians to enter their their own email and password um, but to give some of our potential customers access we've just built this to allow anyone to sign in so we'll click the sign in button and it's told me that I've signed in successfully I can close that now this is the dashboard and you'll see in the main area two tables. Um, in our core application the first table would list the reports which this specific technician has created and the next table shows all of your company's reports. So you'll see that the reports are listed in a horizontal fashion. Um, each report has a unique number um, and color. In this case ET-13-2 is the second eddy current report created in 2013. And here we have PT-13, this is penetrant and MT. Next you'll see a envelope icon um, 
that tells you that that report has been emailed to the client but I'll talk more about that later. Then you'll see a uh, AR and R that's simply a label for accept or reject. Um, then you have the project title. This is just a, des a descriptive term which is used to describe every report. And then we have a part drawing number, um, the client, client order number, and the technician who created the report and then we can see when the report was last updated and then we have a a button that allows us to email the report so on the top we have the main navigation and search bar and on the side we have the, sh the sidebar which contains shortcuts to um, different pages so let's try to create a, a new report um, in this case, we have split it down into surface and volumetric um, methods. So we will try to create an eddy current report. So how your technicians will create reports is basically they will just be entering data into a web form. Um, so it's, it's very easy to use. And you'll see that we've added some so we've added a label and some help text to every um, field so that they can be reminded when they're entering data. So let's give our report a, a title. So we'll say Eddy Current on Lifting Lugs. Um, you can just use the tab button to switch between um, input fields or of course you can just click in there. Now you see that I've just typed one character there and up has appeared some um, options. So it basically remembers the previous entries and, and it provides a pop-up. Um, to help you and to speed you up when you're when you're generating reports, um, I'll select NASA as the client here. Next is the date of the inspection. Again, we get a nice um, pop-up date picker. Then we have the work order number, the location. Again, it, it helps us out by giving us some previously used locations. Uh, drawing number, part number, serial number, and the description, so lifting lugs, and basically you just continue filling in these parameters. This next section um, is called custom field, so this is for a parameter which might not be included here as default. So perhaps you're um, describing an inspection for a specific client who has um, special requirements, which which aren't you know as are, aren't part of the reporting system which you've created. So we've provided this custom field here for you to enter something specific. So we can say eight number in there. Now this is our description area. This is where you will enter a text description. Um, you can also add images uh, and tables in this area. So let's add a brief description here. Now you can um, highlight text similar to any word processor and you can add some basic formatting such as bold or italics. Um, to input a list you can click the bulleted list button and 
we also have numbered lists. You can use the undo and redo buttons. And this is where you can insert some images into your report. So it's as simple as finding the image in your computer. So I'll click choose image. Now I happen to have this handy image on my desktop. I'll open it, click insert. Now we can also add tables. Um, you can choose the parameters. I'll just take the default. It gives me a 2x2 two two table. So I can say in here a part result. Oh, come on. So one is accept. Now I can add in um, more fields more rows, 2 is reject. This next section allows me to choose the result of the report, so if it's acceptable or not. Then we have um, some specific fields for, in this case, eddy current. Um, again, it gives me some help here filling this out. Calibration due, coating thickness, and calibration block standard block now this is where I can add the probes that I was using on this inspection so let's say 100 kilohertz bridge probe serial number gain phase and sensitivity and I can add more probes and remove probes as necessary and the same with defects I can add multiple defects just input the parameters and remove them if they're not needed so if I click this create ET report button and here is our generated report you see we have our parameters here, our probe, uh, the text description, the image, our table, the acceptable or not, and the, the technician um, details here. Now you'll see that there's a signature and a stamp which have been generated automatically. This is another one of of our highlight features, um, we your signature, your technician signature is added um, digitally, so there's no need to print out the report and physically sign it and physically stamp it. Um, we've added that feature electronically. Now you don't have to have that, but we we think that's a, it's a good productivity booster. Um, it it reduces the workflow and um, it means that reports can be generated faster um, and you're saving paper and, and money as well. So this is our report view and you'll see it's telling me that the report has been created successfully. So we can close that again. And these are the report specific um, buttons. So if I click edit report it takes me straight back to the, the same field, the same form with all the fields filled in and I can I can simply edit it. I can add some parameters here. And click update. And those those changes have taken effect. So we have um, delete report, um, then we have um, download PDF. Now the report as it is at the moment is in HTML format. Uh, if you want to download it, it gets generated into PDF format. And this is the PDF version. So it basically looks exactly the same. We have a footer which gets added. 
and it tells you the report number, page one of one, page one of two, etc. And from the PDF, you can also save it to your computer. You can print it out. Um, you can do anything that you can do with any any PDF. Um, you can also email the report from here. So. Um, when you click the email report button it gets taken into a kind of staging area for your report um, I'll come to that later now use as template so what we can do, we, we might have spent quite a bit of time generating this report and um, let's say we want to create another report which is very similar to this one and we don't want to have to go through the rigmarole of typing everything out again so we can actually use this report as a template and generate another report based on all the data. So I can choose Eddy Current from this field and you'll see that it, it's generated a, a completely new report with, with the same um, data. Um, I can go back. Now let's say you are a, a client's um, site and you're, you're doing different inspections, let's say you're doing an eddy current and an MPI inspection. So a lot of the parameters are the same. So what we can do if you generate an eddy current report first, you can use this button to generate uh, an MT report. Now a lot of the things will be copied over, for example the, the title, the client, the date of inspection, etc. Certain things aren't copied over like the procedure and acceptance and the MPI specific information. Um, but you can see that this is a big um, productivity boost so you, you don't have to generate a whole new report from scratch. You can use a report which you've already created as a template for another report. So let's go back to the dashboard page. Now you'll see I clicked um, email report and it's it's highlighted that report already for me. But I can email multiple reports. So let's say I want to email um, both of these reports right now. I can click the review and email button. And this takes me to the um, the email page. So I can simply select from the list to who I want to send this email to and uh, let's say I want both of these clients and let's say I want to add in um, another another person so we can say Jane at acme.com now th they aren't in the system yet but I can I can just click here and and it will be emailed um, to them I can choose to send myself a copy and this is where I can I can edit the actual um, the contents of the email, and then I can email down here. Now, because I've added a new person, it's given me the option if I want to save that and which client I want to save it to. And um, I'll just don't save for now. So the application is telling me that those reports have been emailed to these people and if I um, hover over the report it's telling me um, who sent it, who I sent it to and when I sent it. So that's it, uh, thanks for watching um, please get in touch with us for more information and we can provide you with uh, quotation